Hello everyone, I am Eva Hassan from FX Studio and today together we have a new Nuketap and Tricks. Today we'll talk about uh, a node in order to correct your file, your video, your image without using a difficult method. You can correct pieces in your file very very easy. Using this lovely node, you um, correct it. Some people do not use the hue correct in order to correct their photo, uh, maybe because they don't know how to use it or what is it for. When you open hue correct node here, and you just go with your mouse everywhere, you will have a dancing bar here. If you have a look here, it will tell you that any pixel you move, you will have different information in every pixel. As we said before in the color lookup uh, node before in a previous video, you have different information over there. So you have here the saturation, the luminance, red, green, blue, red suppression, green suppression, and blue suppression. And you have also the saturation threshold and we will use it in a moment. Suppose that for example in your video here or in your file, uh, I want to desaturate only the sky without affecting the uh, the ground or the rocks how to do this very very easily just pick some pixel here for control shift drag rehome the viewer and now here i have a bar standing over there telling you that this pixel had the information over here so now i can go to the saturation I will have here the bar for the saturation of this pixel and in order to make to be more accurate just pick the point on the bar and if you want to desaturate it just take it uh, down see so when I get the here correct and disable you will have a, a look that this only the sky is desaturated not the ground nor the rocks in order to be more accurate, not to affect the saturation, for example, for this far away mountain, just narrow this curve. Just like that. Very, very simple. Let's reset this one. And let's take another example. Suppose that I want to make this green be more greener. So let's come close. Control shift. Drag. For this point here and now let's go out now I have here another data inside this bar I want it to be more greener so let's go to the green and let's take this point and raise it up 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 so see oh my god I have a different effect over there and over here I want this green only on the ground so in order to do this narrow the curve remember so let's take this and have a look see now I have only the ground no rocks I have another problem here if you have a look here you will notice that the sky also is affected by this green different look or different hue in order to correct this, it means that the, uh, the sky have the same saturation as the green or at the ground. So the solution is differentiate between the saturation between them. So in order to do this, here is the benefit of the saturation threshold. So just go to the saturation threshold and you have here the information so let's pick two points for example at this data and just pick them up and have a look here at the sky see 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 oh my god so now here i don't have the same issue as before if i disable see i have here only the ground nothing on the sky because now it's on a different saturation from the ground 
You can use the red suppression, green suppression, and blue suppression in order to remove the blue chroma or the green chroma. Just using the green suppression up or down to uh, get rid of the green suppression or the blue suppression, so you will have no uh, red or green data. And also just affect the saturation and luminance. But I will not use this technique here because we already have a lovely node here for the chroma. Okay, but you can use them for to help you in the spilling of the your chroma. Okay, or spilling any kind of color in anywhere. Okay, I hope that you uh, know the HueCorrect lovely node. That could help you a lot in your uh, projects and I'll try to collect a new tab new nodes that you don't know about or something new um, and meet you next time in a new tab and tracks I am Heba Hassan from FX Studio see you next time bye bye